The latitude is zero on the highest part of the planet crossed by the equatorial line. A country of mega-diversity, multi-ethnicity that boasts several World Heritage Sites opens as a destination for those who strive to find in a single space the magic of contrast. Over the lofty edges of the Andean mountain range, between magma, stone, and the breath of the earth, Volcano Pichincha cradles the city of Quito, the capital of Ecuador, at its feet. A meeting of eras, a history of temples and monasteries, of altars and patios, of houses and streets that crowd the volcano-filled horizon, provide Quito with a unique and distinct architectonic dimension. Forty churches, sixteen convents, twelve museums, twelve chapter rooms and refectories bear witness to a time when the clay and stone calendars of the sun and moon were joined by art and religion.
In a juxtaposition of time, the city covered the foothills of the mountain that affords its protection. A new architecture dressed the slopes and creases of its geography. Together with the new design, modern services and comforts created spaces to rest the soul where culture and entertainment started to flow like the lava from the volcano. Thus artists and myths, neighborhoods and people prepared this space, the great scenery that joins all, so that dreamers and poets, travelers and tourists can recite with the city and its volcano the poetry of tomorrow. Extending their gaze over the horizon, Indian deities rise before Quito to open the path and show the way to the wanderer. In peaks and slopes, in highlands and plateaus bordering the snows, high-altitude plants strive to preserve a verdant vegetation. Other mountain spaces close to Cotopaxi and Cayambe in the rich lands of ancient haciendas, there's rest for those who search for the celestial dimension. Where thread and weave of ancient looms are in communion, the traveler may find in the fairs of Otavalo and Cotacachi the rich and particular concept of a millinery art, a utilitarian legacy that persists and is renewed amongst people, lakes, and mountain villages. In the high mountain range, where from the beginning of time the man of corn has been able to use the knowledge that preserves life, 
Crops of other latitudes open and combine their colors to form the sun of a new era. In the middle of the world, immersed in myth and legend, in a space of natural magic as in centuries past, the great magnet of the equinox continues to fire the imagination of all travelers. The observation of the cosmos allowed priests and shaman to discover in the origins of time the circle of the earth in the exact point where the sun illuminates vertically and without shadow. In the middle of the world, in an eternal millennium of myth and legend, the sojourner will find the meeting place of the sun and the hemispheres. In this enclave at zero degrees, a concert of color and sound reveals the charm of the towering mountains and gentle slopes. Each step that the traveler takes amidst equatorial biodiversity is a natural symphony enchanted with wonder. Galapagos Natural World Heritage Site, a veritable laboratory of time, is a unique and privileged space where plant and animal species bring together the ages. Cuenca, cultural world heritage site, city of rivers and history, of artisans and ancient bequests. Seat of ancestral cultures that have left their imprint as a seal of time.
This is where the past and future blend in a single dimension, where latitudes flow together in a great diversity of geography and cultures, where the pilgrim of time discovers Quito.